Hey everyone, it's Tracy and I just wanted to jump on here quick. Uh, sorry for the hair. I um, took two walks today and I wear a hat, so this is what I get when it comes off. So anyway, uh, I have been wanting to try doing henna for quite a while and I wanted to do it freehand. I'll tell you, I ordered the henna and this is what it looks like it came in this. And now open. I think it has, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you have 12 of the henna, and um, you can see how it's packaged. And what I really liked about this, usually, um, like I would ta watch YouTube instructional videos, and they would cut off the tip and then do it. But what was nice about this, because I was afraid that I would cut up off too much of the tip and then too much henna would come out because you have to have like accuracy um, but this comes with this so you just take it out and then put that back in and then I still have a lot left and so and then I was gonna try it freehand and I actually got a book from the library but it seemed and not complicated but you know, you really have to practice and you know um, there's all different types of designs so I figured that I would start with templates so on Amazon they had templates the henna cost me it was less than twenty dollars and then I got these templates and it was for forty and I got them for like sixteen dollars so these are like the hands are all different ones for the hands and so all different, really pretty um, designs. And I did one on my foot. I threw the, the template away, so this was part of it. I just didn't use these. And these just peel off, and then you stick it on you know, your skin, wherever you're putting it, and then you just fill in the holes. And I already did it, and I videoed that, so that's what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so here is my foot. Sorry, I don't have the cutest feet, but I picked. Try to bend that over. Um, this stencil, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this part out here, and I'm going to place it on the top of my foot. And I don't know. I might put these on the side, but we'll see. But I'll show you once I have it on what it looks like. So I want to show you how this works. So I put it on and then you pick this up and then there's a layer under there. And then that circle is separate. So once I take this off, I'll put the circle on in the middle and then I'll start. Okay, before I start putting the hen on, I just wanted to show you that I just make sure that this is all flat and there are no bubbles in it or anything and it's adhered really nice. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take the tip off there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through all the openings and then we let it dry for, um, I guess about an hour till it turns like a green color and then we peel this off. So I'm gonna do that. I'll show you what it looks like after I get all the ink okay, on. That's what it looks like covered. And I really appreciated, so on this tip, Usually, I was, af well, not afraid, but you know, you're you supposed to cut them, and I thought I might cut too far, but they, this, these, ba 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 come with this pin, so you just pull out the pin, and then it starts coming out, so you don't even have to worry about cutting the tip. So I'm going to wait and let it dry, and I guess it's done when it starts turning green. But I'll show you when it gets there. About an hour, and I think it's dry, so I am going to peel it off now. Okay, and it's supposed to look like that. Take that middle part out. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape like the dry stuff off and I will show you what it looks like right after. Okay, so I just like 
wiped off all of the dry henna that was on there. And that's what it looks like now. Kind of looks orange. And then it's interesting because you want to put, so I have some extra virgin olive oil, and I'm going to put it on there and rub it on. Which it's interesting because I would think oil would be something that would take it off. Oh, I'm going to put this not on the rug. Okay, so I'm going to rub that on. And you can use baby oil or any kind of oil. So for tonight, that is what it looks like. And then tomorrow it should get darker. So I will check in tomorrow and let you know what it's looking like. But that's what it looks like now. And this is the next morning. As you can see, it really darkened up. And I did it, I put it on about 9 o'clock last night, and then I let it sit to dry. So I took the template off about 10, and then it's the next morning, and so that's what it looks like. And it may even get a little darker, but yeah, I think it's well worth the money and something fun to do. So, highly recommend. I just wanted to show, now it's two days after, and it has really darkened up and I would assume that that is probably the final outcome and I have um, been walking a lot so I've had tennis shoes on with uh, socks and it has not rubbed off and they usually last about two weeks but I just wanted to show you how much darker it got so that's it so you can see how well it turned out and the last shot is was this morning so I shot that video today and that's how dark it got. It got pretty dark. And so I think that that's probably about as dark as it's going to get. But uh, I'm really happy with it. And um, yeah, really easy. So if it's something that you know, you've wanted to do, or I know some people, my niece's daughter really likes to get it done in the summer. And if you just want to, I did that on myself in about 10 minutes, and then I had to let it dry for an hour. Uh, but other than that, and then it's weird because you do put oil on it afterwards, which would seem kind of counterintuitive. You'd think that would take it off, but it doesn't, it sets it or something. But yeah, so for something that's under $40 and you know, these are going to last me a long time, 12 of these and then 40 of these. Um, so it's something fun, you know, if you want to buy something, one of these for you know, your kids to do or, you know, for you to do. And my girlfriend just had a henna tattoo artist at her daughter's birthday party. She did a free hand. They had a theme, and then she did henna tattoos, like, as the theme. But, uh, yeah, but if you want to do it the easy way, use the templates and the henna. And hopefully, later on, I will practice and learn how to do it freehand. But I just wanted to jump on here and just kind of show you my experience with it. And, yeah, I give it a two thumbs up. And I think it was worth it. So, okay. I'll see you in the next video.